Hello, I'm Fireman Sam, and today we're going to be learning about fire safety with my Ponty Pandy friends, Joe and Hannah. Yes, I'm Joe Sparks, and today I'll be looking at the science behind smoke alarms. Smoke alarms are very important. They can warn you of danger before a fire gets out of control. Say, for example, if this candle got knocked over. It won't get knocked over, will it, Dad? Don't be silly, Hannah. It's just there to illustrate the point. Okay, Dad. Just show the people at home how you can test your smoke alarm. There are a number of ways to test a smoke alarm. I'm going to be using the match method. Or you could just press the test button here. I know what I'm doing, hon. Now, the smoke from my recently extinguished match causes alpha radiation that ionizes the air pump. Ah! Ah! Oh. Oh. And that's what it sounds like when you test your smoke alarm. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! And it sounds exactly the same when it goes off for real! So, make sure you have a smoke alarm fitted and remember to test it regularly. Huh? Hello everybody, I'm Fireman Sam. And today, we're going to be learning all about road safety. With Norman Man and Atomic Boy. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I am Norman Man, and I'm going to teach you all about crossing the road safely. And I'm going to do it quickly before Atomic Boy gets here and ruins it all. Mom, I need to help you cross the road. But there are three things you need to remember when crossing the road. You have to stop, look, and listen. First, you stop by the edge of the curb. Then you look both ways. And listen. And when you're sure it's safe, you can cross the road, making sure to keep looking and listening. Norman, man. You started without me! Too late, Atomic Boy! We've nearly finished! No, you haven't! You can do it again with me in at this time! Come on, Mrs. Price! That's yeah. my mom! Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. oh, Trevor! I think you might need to rescue me! <laughs> so, let's do this properly. When you cross the road, always cross with an adult. Stop on the sidewalk near the curb. Then you look and listen in both directions. And when you're sure it's safe, you can cross the road. But you must keep looking and listening all the time you're crossing the road. Well done, team. We're the Junior Cadets. Never leave anything on the stairs, as someone could trip on it and fall down the stairs as Mandy will now demonstrate. You should not do this at home. Oh, no! Whoa! Ow! Oh! Ooh. And you shouldn't leave anything at the bottom of the stairs, either. I'm fine. Thanks, team. Hello, everybody. I'm Fireman Sam. And today, we're going to be learning all about road safety. With Norman Man and Atomic Boy! Hello, citizens. I am Norman Man. And I am Atomic Boy. And today, we're going to be teaching you all Norman about... Norman Price, you are not going anywhere without putting your crash helmet on. But, Mom... We're doing a road safety film for Fireman Sam, and you're spoiling it! I've got my helmet on, Mrs. Price. <laughs> Mrs. Price. Oh, yes. And very handsome you look, too, James. I'm not James. I'm Atomic Boy! And I'm Norman Man. And Norman Man does not wear a helmet when he's driving the Norman Man machine. Well, then, he doesn't get to drive the Norman Man machine. Uh, Come on, team. This way. Or maybe they do. 
And heroes always wear helmets. I'm James. I'm Sarah. I'm Mandy. And I'm Norman. And, and we're, we're the Junior Cadets. Cadets. And today, the Junior Cadets will be teaching us something very important about fire safety. Okay, Norman, for today's safety tip, you have to say which one of these things you shouldn't play with. Is it a toy car, some building blocks, or a box of matches? That's easy. The building blocks, because they're for babies. No, Norman. Think again. Huh. The car, because it looks like a really slow one. Only James would play with that. No, Norman. It's a fire safety tip. What do you think it might be? Fiery, fiery, flamey, flamey! Ah, but I wanted to play with the matches. We could have played pickup sticks. No, uh, Norman, uh, you should never play with matches, and they should always be kept in a safe place. I knew that, really. Thanks, team. Electricity. It's great. It helps us make cups of tea. It helps us cook our dinner. Mmm. And it helps us see when it gets dark. But water and electricity don't mix. So, never touch anything electrical with wet hands. Never leave drinks on or too close to electrical items. And never take any plugged in electrical items into the bathroom or near any water. Or you could get a very nasty electric shock. So, be safe and remember, electricity and water don't mix. We're the Junior Cadets! Always remember, to keep your pets indoors on firework night. All the pets are inside now, Fireman Sam. Oh, apart from that one. Don't worry, I've got him. Ah! Ah! And that oh. one. So, remember to keep your pets indoors, as the loud noises could frighten them. Thanks, team. Hello. And welcome to Flood's Firework Safety Tips. Are you ready, Sam? Yes, Mike. Always keep a safe distance from fireworks. <laughs> huh? Oh, you might want to make sure you're close enough to actually see the fireworks, though. Huh, Mike? Hello, and welcome to Flood's Fireworks Safety Tips. With me, Mike Flood. Are you going to give them your safety tip? I, I, I'm waiting for my music intro. We've only got 30 seconds. There's no time. Oh, yeah. Okay, Sam. So, if you've lit a firework and it's not gone off, don't go back to it. It could still be live. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Flood's Fireworks Safety Tips. Always wear gloves when you play with sparklers to protect your hands. Oh, it's gone out. And remember, sparklers stay very hot even after they've gone out. So always have a bucket of water handy to put them in when you're finished. Can I have another one, please, Sam? James! I'm Sarah! I'm Mandy! And I'm Norman! And we're the Junior Cadets! And today, the Junior Cadets will be teaching us something very important about barbecue safety. 
today we're at the Ponty Pandy Barbecue Day, and we're here to tell you Keep back. about Keep back. keeping a safe Keep uh, back. distance. Norman. What are you doing? Getting everyone to keep a safe distance from the barbecue. Duh! Keep back! But my big beefy burgers are on that barbecue. And I've got my bun ready. Norman, you need to let my dad go over there. He's the cook. But, 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 but. Oh. Well, Norman's right. You should always keep a safe distance from a barbecue or anything that's hot. But you might want to let the cook get near it, especially if you're hungry. Oh, no. My big beefy burgers look like char-grilled charcoal lumps. I'll just eat my bun on its own, then. <laughs> Luckily, I've brought some extra supplies. Oh, no. I'm just eating my bun. Hi, we're the wild men of Ponty Pandy. And today, we're at the beach. Hi, Moose. Tom, everything okay? Yes, Sam. Um, we're just teaching everyone about outdoor water safety. Whenever you go paddling, make sure you never turn your back to the sea. And sometimes a big wave can knock you over. Watch out, Tom. Whoa! That was close. It's all right, Sam. All under control. Ah! Oh, God, I swallowed a lot of seawater. Drink, Tom? Yes, please, mate. I'm James. I'm Sarah. I'm Mandy. And I'm Norman. And we're the Junior Cadets. And today, the Junior Cadets will be teaching us something very important about barbecue safety. Today is Ponty Pandy Barbecue Day. Now, barbecues can be lots of fun, but they can also be dangerous. Mm -hmm. Firstly, you must always leave lighting a barbecue to an adult. Hey, Trevor, better get mine lit before you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see about that. And always remember to keep your barbecue a safe distance from trees, bushes, or anything else that might catch fire. There you go. <laughs> oh. And always make sure you put your barbecue on a flat surface so it stays in place once it's lit. There! No wobbling or rolling. The perfect place to put a barbecue. Uh, oh, no! My sausages are rolling away! Uh, Uncle Sam! Oh, no. It's all right. I've got it. I think it's going to be a long day. Hi! We're the wild men of Ponty Pandy. And today, we're going to be teaching you about outdoor water safety. Never get too close to the water if you haven't got an adult with you. Moose is an adult. You know I'm safe and sound. Oh, oh, wow, wow, wow! And always wear something to protect your feet. There can be sharp things like rocks under the water that you can't see. Bandage, Tom. And today, the Junior Cadets will be teaching us all about safety around the swimming pool. Remember to always walk when you're at the swimming pool. Never run. Sarah and James will demonstrate. Never run. Go on, you two. This is silly, Norman. Everyone knows what walking looks like. I bet I can walk faster than you. Cannot. Ow! Uh, you think that's fast? Remember, no running. Don't worry, Uncle Sam. We uh, won't run. Uh, uh. Go on, James. You're in the lead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't push my friend into the water. 
And what else aren't you supposed to do, Norman? You're not supposed to push anyone into the water. Sorry, Sam. Sorry, Sarah. Sorry, James. So remember, walk. Don't run, because you might slip. And no pushing, either. Thanks, team. Hi, we're the wild men of Ponty Pandy. And today, we're going to be teaching you about outdoor water safety. If you go paddling, you have to be very careful. You're not joking there, mate. Sometimes the water can get deep very suddenly. <laughs> Remember, take care paddling, and only go in the water if you have a responsible grown-up with you. Hello, I am Norman Man. And I am a Tonic Boy. And today, I will be protecting the citizens of Ponty Pandy from railway danger. And so will I. Not as much as me. Railroad tracks can be very dangerous. I was going to say that. <sighs> so always stay away from railway tracks. By standing back. From the edge of the platform. <sighs> and <sighs> it's also a good idea not to push and shove on a railway platform, too. Sorry, Sorry Fireman Sam. Sam. Don't worry, Sam. I will keep the citizens a safe distance away. So, remember, citizens, always take care near railway tracks. Wait! That's my train! Wait for me! Wait for me! Hey! Hey! Irons are very useful. They can take the creases out of your pants and make you look smart for inspection. Hmm. But irons can also be very dangerous. Take! You're it! Wait! Dad's just done some ironing! Oh no! Irons are really heavy and you can trip on the wire and pull them onto you if you're not careful. And they stay hot for a very long time, even if they've been switched off. Dad! What is it, you two? Dad, huh? you're it! And you've forgotten something! Oh, dear. I think I'd better make this safe and then play tag. Coming! So be safe. And don't play near irons. And remember, irons can stay hot for a long time, even after they've been switched off. Hello, I'm Fireman Sam. And today, we're going to be learning about fire safety with Joe and Hannah. And today, Joe and Hannah will be showing you why you, you should, should never overload, overload a, a socket. socket. This is a socket, and usually you'll just put one plug into each socket. But sometimes you need to put more than one plug into one socket, which is fine if you use one of these. But whatever you use, as far as electricity goes, always ask an adult to do it for you. You see, each socket has a maximum power allowance based on the amperages and wattages of the particular appliances in question. Dad! You see, here I've plugged in too many things just to show how dangerous it can be. Dad, that really doesn't look safe. Relax, Hannah. I know what I'm doing. Oh, look, Sam's remote-controlled Jupiter is fully charged now. Wow, look at it go. Don't look at that, Dad. Look at all the plugs. There are still too many things plugged in. And that's why you, you should, should never, never overload, overload a socket. A socket. Hello, I'm Fireman Sam, 
and today we're going to be learning about fire safety with Joe and Hannah. We'll be telling you why you should always watch over a hot pan. And I'll be doing the sciencey bits. This is a frying pan full of sausages. And we've turned the heat right up. You see, all liquids, including cooking oils, have a flash point based on the chemical and molecular structure uh, Basically, of... if the pan gets too hot, it'll catch fire. Like that! Oh, my sausages! And if no one is keeping an eye on the pan when it happens, the fire will get worse. Um, it looks like it's getting worse anyway, Hannah. Never leave pans while you're cooking and always get an adult to help you in the kitchen. And if a pan starts smoking, it may be getting too hot. So turn off the heat and let the pan cool down. I think my sausages are a little overcooked. If a pan does catch fire, never pour water on it. Stand well back and get a grown-up to cover the pan with a damp cloth or fire blanket. Norman, and, and we're, we're the Junior Cadets. And today, my cadets will be talking to us about safety in the kitchen. Step up, step up, come and see our Daredevil safety tip. Oh, I don't like Daredevil things. Don't worry, James. The power has been turned off and there's nothing in the pans. It's completely safe. Don't spoil it, Sarah. It would be dangerous if it was real. Anyway, when your mama dad is cooking, they should always turn the pan handles to the side. But sometimes they might forget. Is it time for the daredevil bit yet? Okay, Norman. I will now put one of the handles into the dangerous position. Drum roll, please. Oh, I can't look. When the pans are this way round, they can easily be pulled down and you could burn yourself. So if the pans are like this, stay away from them and tell a grown-up. <laughs> oh, ow! Oh, oh, my toe! I told you it was dangerous. Always be careful in the kitchen and stay away from hot pans. If a pan handle is sticking out, ask a grown-up to move it. Windows are great. You can look out of them. You can open them to cool down or get some fresh air. Or we can put decorations on the window sills. But it can be very dangerous to play near windows or climb on window ledges. Mm-hmm, because if you fall, you could hurt yourself. And if you fall out of the window, you could fall a very long way. <laughs> oh. Norman, have you seen those ornaments that I got from Aunt Phyllis for my birthday? Yes, Mom. Um, I'll bring them back in a minute. Uh, where do we keep the glue? So be safe and don't play on window ledges. I'm Fireman Sam, and today we're going to be talking about being safe with candles. And my trusty assistant, Norman Price, will be helping me. Hello, everybody. Today it's my mom's birthday, and we need to light the candles on her birthday cake. So. What do we need to remember before we light any of the candles, Norman? To taste the cake and make sure it hasn't gone stale. And um, that's not a real cake, Norman. We uh, made a pretend one. <laughs> I don't like pretend <laughs> cake. <laughs> so, what do we need to remember about candle safety then, Norman? Yeah. Um, number one, make sure the candles are secure and won't fall over. That's right, Norman. Now, time to light them. Number two, 
always get a grown-up to light candles for you and never play with matches. Ah! Thank you, Penny. And there's only one more thing for you to remember. Take the cake to my mom. Stop. Number three, never move a lit candle. Ah! I'm moving a lit candle. I'm moving a lit oh. candle. Ah, oh. ah, 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 ah. Number four, never let Norman Price near a lit birthday cake. And that's Fireman Sam's top safety tips for candles. I am Norman Man! And I am a Tonic Boy! And today, I will be protecting the citizens of Ponty Panty from railway danger! And so will I! Not as much as me. Railroad tracks can be very dangerous! I was going to say that, so always stay away from railway tracks. By standing back! From the edge of the platform! And it's also a good idea not to push and shove on a railway platform, too. Sorry, Sorry Fireman, Fireman Sam. Sam. Don't worry, Sam. I will keep the citizens a safe distance away. So, remember, citizens, always take care near railway tracks. Wait! That's my train! Wait for me! Wait for me! Hey! Hey! When he hears that fire...